not a month ago, I made a video about Olama OCR. Many of you like this video. One of the followers had a problem with OCR chatbot and asked me if I could help. And I thought this video might help many developers. Good news, Mistral AI released Mistral OCR, a new product known as the best OCR model in the world. Mistral OCR is an optical character recognition API that sets a new standard for document understanding. Unlike other models, Mistral OCR understands every element of a document, media, text, tables, formulas, with unprecedented accuracy and cognitive capabilities. It inputs images and PDFs and extracts content from ordered interleaved text and images. Mistral OCR is therefore an ideal model to be used in conjunction with RAG systems that take multimodal documents such as slides or complex PDFs as input. But Gao Mistral OCR is not enough to create a powerful OCR agent. I know you are right. Just now, Google's Gemma series of open source models has been updated and Gemma 3, which is optimized for multimodality and long context, has been released. The performance of the 27B version is comparable to Gemini 1.5 Pro. Google claims that Gemma 3 is the world's best single accelerator model, outperforming competitors such as Meta, DeepSeek and OpenAI, especially on a host computer using a single GPU. The new model's visual encoder has been enhanced to support high resolution and non-square images. So let me give you a quick demo of a live chatbot to show you what I mean. I went to the Streamlit app and input API keys for the Mistral and Google APIs in the sidebar. If valid, the Mistral client is initialized and the Google API is checked. Once the API is connected, I will upload a PDF including a table, invoice, text, and charts. Also, in this video, I will demo the image and I will click on the process PDF button. Once I upload the PDF, it will display in the sidebar. It creates a temporary directory to manage files. If anything goes wrong during the upload, it catches the exception and raises an exception value error with a clear message. In case you upload an image, it will convert the image in Markdown and loop each key value pair in the images dictionary. After replacing all image placeholders, it returns the modified Markdown string with the embedded base64 images. Then it will process multiple pages of OCR extracted Markdown and their respective images. It creates an empty list of Markdowns to store processed Markdown content from each page. It iterates through the page, extracting each image's ID as the key and its base64 encoded string as the value. It then appends the updated Markdown to the Markdowns list and it combines all processed Markdown sections, ensuring a clean separation between pages. Then it inspects the document source type to determine how to process the document. By the end of this video, you will understand what makes Mistral OCR and Gemma 3 unique, how Gemma 3 is trained, and how we can use Gemma 3, Mistral OCR, and RAG to create a powerful OCR agent. Definitely stay tuned throughout the end of this video. If you guys haven't followed me, I highly recommend that you do so, so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn the notification, bell like this video, and check out previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. So that thought, let's get right back into the video. Mistral OCR is more than just a text recognition tool. It excels at understanding complex document elements, including interlaced images, mathematical expressions, tables, and advanced typesetting. It is naturally multilingual and multimodal, and its lightweight design makes it much faster than similar models. A single node can process up to 2,000 pages of documents per minute, and local deployment options keep sensitive data within reach. What's more, it can convert the red data into the markdown format. This is revolutionary because the AI model itself can easily understand the markdown format data, so it can understand document data much better. Gemma 3 is not just about size, it also has many features to help. Gemma 3 delivers state-of-the-art performance for its size. In preliminary evaluations, it supports over 35 languages out of the box and is pre-trained for over 140 languages. Seamlessly analyze images, text, and short videos. 
and massive context windows of 128K tokens allow your applications to process and understand large amounts of data at once. Gemma 3 uses distillation techniques and performs optimization through reinforcement learning and model merging during pre-training and post-training. This approach can improve performance in mathematics, encoding, and instruction. Moreover, Gemma 3 uses a brand new tokenizer, provides support for more than 140 languages, and is trained on Google TPU using the JAX framework for 1 billion of 2 trillion tokens, 4 billion of 4 trillion tokens, 12 billion of 12 trillion tokens, and 27 billion of 14 trillion tokens. In the post-training stage, Gemma 3 mainly uses four components. Extract from a larger instruction model into a Gemma 3 pre-train checkpoint. It uses reinforcement learning with human feedback to align model predictions with human preferences and machine feedback reinforcement learning to enhance mathematical reasoning and use reinforcement learning execution feedback to improve coding ability. These updates significantly improve the model's math, programming, and command following capabilities, allowing Gemma 3 to score 1,338 in LM Arena. The fine-tuned version of Gemma 3 commands uses the same dialogue format as Gemma 2. Therefore, developers do not need to update the tools and can directly input plain text. Let us now explore step-by-step step and unravel the answer to creating a powerful reasoning app. We will install the libraries that support the model. For this, we will do a pip install requirements. Once installed, we import the important dependencies like MrLi, Google, and Streamlit. I designed this function to securely upload a PDF to Mistral's OCR API and get a signed URL for further processing. I first check if the client object is provided. If it's none, raises an error. Since the function requires a properly initialized Mistral API client, I create a temporary directory, define a file path, and write the PDF content. I then open the file in RB mode and upload it to the Mistral API using the client specifying the file name, content, and purpose as OCR. After a successful upload, I retrieve a signed URL with the client enabling access to the file. If an error occurs, I catch the exception and raise a value error with a clear message. Finally, I ensure cleanup by deleting the temporary file if it exists. Then I created the replace images in markdown function, which takes a markdown string and a dictionary mapping image names to base 64 encoded images. I iterate through the dictionary, where each key represents an image placeholder and each value contains the corresponding base 64 string. I use dot replace to find occurrences of images in the markdown and replace them with images. This ensures that placeholders are converted into embedded base 64 images. Finally, I return the updated markdown string with the images replaced. Let's define the get combined markdown function to process multiple pages of OCR extracted markdown and their images. I create an empty list of markdowns to store the processed markdown from each page. I iterate through OCR response.pages collecting image data by mapping image IDs to their base 64 encoded representations. I replace image placeholders in each page's markdown using replace images in markdown and append the modified content to markdowns. Finally, I join all processed markdown sections with join markdowns, ensuring a clear separation between pages. Then I create the process OCR function to check if the client is provided. If not, I raise an error because an initialized Mestral client is required. I inspect document source to determine whether to process a document URL or an image URL. If it's a document URL, I call the client.ocr.process with a document URL chunk. And if it's an image oc URL, I use an image URL chunk. I specify Mistral OCR latest in the model and enable it include image base 64 equal true to include base 64 encoded images. If the source type is unrecognized, I raise a value error with a clear error message. Let's initialize the Google Gemini API by configuring it with an API key. I check if the context is empty or too short, less than 10 characters, and I return an error if it is true. I create a prompt that includes the document's context and the query to guide the model's response. I configured the model with parameters like temperature, temperature, 
Topic P and safety settings. I generate the response using model.generate.content. If an error occurs, I catch it, print the error details, and return an error message. Then we created the Streamlit app to enable users to upload documents or images for OCR processing. Users can provide API keys for the Mistral and Google APIs via the sidebar. If valid, the Mistral client is initialized and the Google API is checked and can upload documents via PDF, image, or URL. The app processes the content using OCR, extracting text from each page and storing it for future use. Once a document is loaded, users can ask questions about the content and the app generates responses using the Google Gemini API. All chat messages are stored in the session state. Streamlit also handles errors such as missing API keys or processing failures and provides warnings when features are incomplete. The release of Mistral OCR and Gemma 3 is not only powerful by Mistral AI and Google in the field of OCR and state-of-the-art AI performance, but also significantly improves memory efficiency and it marks another leap forward for AI in document intelligence. For developers, it is a powerful tool that can be used out of the box for enterprises. It is the golden key to unlocking the value of unstructured data. For ordinary people like us, it is also a useful tool for recognizing handwritten manuscripts, invoices, contract photos, etc.